Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fit Tuckers. Today we're going to show you some of the exercises you can do on the assist uh, dip and pull up machine. There's lots of variations that you can do. Um, so today we're going to show you some of the ones that you can do. Right, so one of the first exercises we're going to do is pretty much just like a chest press that you can do over here. So basically I want to start sort of at a 90 degree angle. I've got a slight bend in my knees to take pressure off. And it's sort of like doing a push up, but standing up, just like a chest press. So another one of the exercises you can do is uh, forge for the legs. It's actually a good glute workout. The main thing here is make sure you hold on to get up. But with the glute workout, my heel has to be all the way on. That's the key. Because pressure in the heel is what works your glute. So you hold on here and just press all the way down and basically come up to a 90 degree angle and press back down. Slow pause here, that way you can really press, fill it up in your glutes and press. So and then when you really want to switch sides, you're just going to hold on you can just step over. It makes it a little easier. And like I said, your 90 degree angle, hold it on here and press. Heel all the way on is the key. Okay. So with that being said, now that we did the heel all the way on, that's what worked your hamstring and your glutes. So now we can do the same thing with our heel up and get a good calf workout. So now we're pressing down with our toe. Press. We're coming back up to 90 degrees basically. And then just press. You're gonna feel that in your calf muscle right here. Heels are up, and you're just pressing down with the toes of your feet. The same principle as far as walking it over. Be careful, make sure you hold on. Starting at 90, press it down with your heels. Coming back up to 90, and you can see your calf muscles working. Okay, another thing we can do is uh, dips. So, what you need to remember here as far as the weight. If we go higher in weight, so right now it's set on 70. If I go to 100, it's gonna make it easier. It's the opposite effect as far as through this dips because it's gonna be more weight bouncing me back up. So with the dips, I'm gonna put my knees on here and these hands adjust. I'm going close, farther apart, reference. Knees here. And I'm going to come down, you see I'm basically at a 90 degree angle with my arms, and then just coming up. 90 degrees, then come up. 90 degree angle here, and then come up. So that's one with the dips. So now we'll do the same thing with pull-ups. So the main thing with pull-ups is remember, there is no finish line here, okay? Do not swing. So we have the assisted part in here. So we won't be able to swing anyway. But there's just different handles here. The more width, the further out we go is more back width. The closer angle is more directly on the lats. So we'll put our knees on here and we'll come down and then just come straight up. So the main thing is here is I don't want to start looking up to put pressure on the back of my deck. All right, like I said, there's no finish line there. I'm just gonna come up with my arms, look straight ahead, all the way back down, then come up, all right? Remember this thing right here will jump up on you. So now, if we do not need assistance, we can do dips here, we can do pull-ups here. So, the same thing with dips. We'll go back to those, we're gonna step up here. With dips, I'm gonna try to keep my back straight down, up. 90 degrees here, up. I don't want to start swinging and you're going to take away from the exercise. Same back thing to the pull-ups. Okay, I can cross my legs if I want to, but I don't want to start swinging here with a pull-up. I'm just going to come up, squeeze, all the way back down, squeeze. So looking up and there is no finish line, don't move your neck that way, don't look up. Just come straight up, look straight ahead, 
come up, do a pull up. Come all the way down, slow concentrated, squeeze. If you can't do that, use the assisted part. Don't swing, all right? There's no sense in swinging and grabbing here. <clears throat> this is not a pull up and it's not helping me a bit. All right, use the assisted part. Okay, so like I said, use the assisted part if you can't do a pull up with the proper technique. All right, proper technique. No finish line here, guys. Stop swinging. Stop moving your neck back. Always look straight ahead. Slow, concentrated is all you need. Contracting that muscles. Make sure you have your feet all the way on if you're doing the glutes. Toes, be careful, step on and off. And remember, more weight is usually the opposite as far as if we're doing pull-ups and dips. Granted, if we're pressing down, then the weight is actually right, the heavier the weight. So make sure we hit that like button, guys. Make sure we hit that subscribe button. Got a lot of great workouts for you, meal prepping, so forth. Um, tell your friends about us, We're trying to educate as many people as we can. Remember to stay hydrated. And as always, don't sit, get fit.